ended up going with two of these because these are really cool. Boom! What is up, Billings fam? We are here with another episode of House Billings. I feel like I am always doing these intros from a car. This is because we are always on the go. We got so many things going on. And of course, it's another gloomy day. It's like April showers bring May sh showers, just showers upon showers, always raining. Anyways, got a message the other day of another rescue situation we get to do. So really cool. We're going to do a couple of things in this video. One, we're going to show you how to set up a, a little bit of a temporary tank. And I'm gonna explain why. So the other part of that is we are going to rescue about 20 to 30 fish, which is really cool. So cool little backstory. A gentleman had reached out to me saying that his son had a bunch of fish for a while and he moved out and now no one takes care of it. And it's just kind of in the way and they need someone to kind of rescue rehome. So we said, absolutely. So really cool. I've actually never heard of these fish. They're called Endler's Live Bearers. They are in like the guppy molly family. They actually look pretty cool. They're small. They're, I don't know, I guess about this big. Um, they look like kind of almost similar to like neon tetras mixed with maybe your mollies and guppies and all of that but anyways they look pretty cool he's got about 20 to 30 of them uh, the tank is in real bad shape it needs a real good cleaning but he's gonna throw that in for us as well so what we're gonna do tomorrow we're gonna go rescue these fish we're gonna clean the tank and set them up for a brand new home and they're gonna be a lot better taken care of which is awesome really really cool so I'm excited for that in the meantime since we can't just clean the tank and throw them in it what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a tank tonight of a temporary situation with like a, a, a plastic bin it's gonna be really cool stay tuned guys if you haven't as always make sure you go down and subscribe right now go up top hit that bell for me so you can stay notified share this around help us grow house billings and the billings fam we're going to the store right now we're gonna get some auto cats which you've heard me talk about a million times we need some of them and we're gonna talk to our boy at the store we got to go over a couple other things because we have a really cool surprise coming up in a couple of weeks we're gonna talk to him about it tonight so let's go get some Auto cats. What's up, fishies? Where's that big buddy? There he is. What's up, dude? One day, we're gonna take you out of here. What are those? No, really, what are those? We need you. Bad news. Wasn't here in time. Only one auto cat left, so we're gonna have to take him find something else. So that was a fail of epic proportions. Uh, so we went in there with the intentions of getting 10 auto cats because we need them. We've been looking for them for almost two weeks. No one ever has them. This place, my place that I depend on, said they had them, went there. They had one left, one. So we cleaned them out of their one. I put my name on a list. They're gonna spe special order them for us, but what a fail. Since it's just a temporary setup for tonight, we did get a filter. Uh, it'll do the job. It's not what I wanted, but it'll do the job. We got the one auto cat. Great. So right now heading to Walmart. All right, so since this is just a temporary setup, we don't need a whole lot for this. Uh, we're gonna do just something simple for the gravel. Really just one bag. Uh, we don't need a ton. Like I said, they're just going in this for a couple days. So we'll get the white gravel. I like this, comes with a couple of options of flowers in there. So we'll get a couple of those. And then I like this grass. They can kind of hide behind that. So we'll get that and Honestly, that should be it for here. Keep it really simple. I lied. We are gonna get one other thing that I love using in these. I'm gonna get them a little pot, a little hiding spot. I think they'll love that. We are good here. Let's go set it up. 
So we got home last night. Once we got everything taken out and sorted out, it was already about 12 o'clock. So there was no point in finishing up then. Figured we'd get some sleep. And then today, we're gonna get this all put together and show you guys. I love these things. You've seen us use them before. We'll use them plenty of other times. It's meant to just be temporary. You can use it for a longer period if you want. You can even make these into like feeder tanks or stuff like that. So we got our filter. We got all our stuff from Walmart. So the stuff from last night, the only thing that you guys didn't see, I ended up going with two of these because these are really cool. I like these little fake grass. It gives them plenty of space to hide in here. I ended up going with two bags of gravel. I like the white. We haven't used white really in anything yet, so I'm ready to see how that will help these colors pop. And I love this. What a cool little value pack for a couple bucks. You get three plants. You can't beat it. We got our little pot here to help them hide. If you can remember from some of our other videos, we have this in the goldfish pond and they absolutely love it. I see a bunch of them in it all the time. And then unfortunately, it's not the filter that we want, but this one will still do great. I like Marine Land. I probably will take some of it out and change it into like a DIY filter. I like doing that. Again, it's just temporary, but it's gonna look amazing. Sure, you guys have seen this little trick. Just makes it easier to wash your rocks off. Perfect. That'll look really good with the colors of these fish. Can't wait to see them. Next thing we're gonna get in is this grass. So the grass is gonna fit perfect in here because there's like a little lip that goes down around the sides and the back. So we're gonna put them both, I think right there in the back. I think that'll look good. Hold on, that is bothering me. So we'll put those there. We'll bury them a little bit with the rocks. And I think that'll actually look really nice. And it'll give them a little place to uh, go and hide there. Perfect. All right, so the pot is next. I love these, like I said. They, they Just to add a, a good little hiding spot to any aquarium. And the fish seem to like it too. So we'll probably put that somewhere right about there. Just washing my plants off. All right, so we got our flowers to put in now. You know what? Much easier way to do this. Boom! There it is. Billings fam looking nice. This is a sick looking temporary tank. We may end up keeping this. We got so many other things planned. I'm sure we can find something to do with it. All right, we got the filter to set up and then this tank will be ready for water. filter is in place and even though it is temporary we actually added our own little filter media in here and it's gonna it's gonna improve this thing a hundredfold uh, you guys have seen me use this before but just to show you we used the little biomax pores here it's just gonna help the biological filtration and then we also used uh, this little filter media which you have the big roll it's takes two seconds. This stuff is great. It's gonna be a huge host for a ton of the beneficial bacteria. I'm probably gonna end up keeping this filter and using it elsewhere. That's why I actually made it into a DIY. So filter is good. Everything is looking beautiful in there. Let's get some water in here. We got our trusty Python system, which we've talked about before. We use this thing literally every day. It's a lifesaver. If you guys have not checked this out yet, we will put a link in the description. Make sure you go and check this out. It is 100% worth the money. I, I literally would be lost without this. So what we are gonna try is a little bit funny. I'm actually going to siphon from one of the uh, tanks. I think we'll probably siphon from the Koi tank because that water is beautiful to get in here so that we don't have to sit here and wait for a cycle. So. Uh, here goes nothing, I guess. Look at that, Gray. We got, we got water. Come on, you can make it. Come on. So, guys, this is what we eat my Water is in, and that is looking nice. So we'll give it a little countdown here. Put the filter in. Three, two, one. Guys, this is coming together and it looks gorgeous. I really like this tank actually for, for a uh, temporary tank. This is looking pretty damn nice. The only other thing we are gonna do, we are gonna go downstairs, we're gonna borrow one of the heaters from the turtle pond and throw that in here. And while we're down there, why don't we grab a minnow? Let's throw a minnow in here and see what it looks like while we're waiting, that'll be fun. 
So let's go grab some minnows from the turtle pond, seeing that they don't eat them anyways, and throw them in here. Fred and the nameless turtle are under there hiding. And I don't know if you can see it too well, because now all the minnows decided to hide too for some reason. But we still have probably all 55 of them, because the turtles don't eat. So let's see if we can catch these guys. Sweet, I got two. Got two of them. So let's get these up. We'll throw them in the tank and let's just see what it looks like. And away they go. What do you guys think of that, huh? It's a pretty cool place. So there you have it guys. The temporary tank is complete and it looks awesome. I don't know if you can see them swimming around in there. There they are, the little minnows we got in there. Super, super cool. Make sure you guys stay tuned because the video coming out tomorrow is going to have those Endler's Live Bears. I'm super excited. Like I said, we get to rescue these things. You're gonna see the grossest tank. You're gonna see us fixing that up. And these things are supposed to be really, really cool. I guess they got some awesome color. Do me a favor, guys. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you thought of this. If you've done anything similar, if you got like fish that are sick or a tank that really needs to be clean, it's just an awesome way to go. So comment down below if you liked it, if you hated it, if you've done them, whatever. As always, guys, make sure you subscribe. Go up top, smack that bell so you can stay in tune with everything we got coming. We have so many awesome videos that we got planned. It's almost time, I swear, it's almost time for the pond. That is coming very soon. We appreciate the support. Share this around, guys. Help us grow house billings. Billings fam, let's get it.